So guys, today I have the mic J from JK Microphones and that's like a really interesting lavalier mic where I saw some guy uh, reviewing that on YouTube. And I found this, I saw really, it sounded really uh, good. So I kind of wanted to try it because what I saw, he tested this against the Sennheiser. Uh, and apparently this uh, JK Mic J044 performed really, really good. So I just bought like this version with this connector because really what I hope to do is uh, to improve uh, the sound of my uh, wireless uh, lavalier microphone system that I uh, tested in an earlier video. I mean, it sounds already pretty good, but um, of course, after doing some testing and research, um, I really became really interested. Um, I mean, I looked at the specs of this microphone and um, maybe I can show this to you here. After seeing uh, the guy online testing this lavalier microphone, I really thought uh, I wanted to give this a try as well. I mean, granted, he tried it with a separate, um, I think I, he tried it with a Zoom audio recorder. And in my case, obviously, I always sent the signal straight into my, into my Canon camera. But uh, yeah, I mean, like these lavalier microphones, I use them for videos. So basically what I did, I went to the Boya website and I scrolled down to the specs of the lavalier microphone of the stock lavalier microphone and then i went to the to jkglobal.com because that's the website from the company that manufactures this microphone and uh, i just went to the mic j004 over here and again on um right here you can see the specs and if i bring this side by side what you can see is that the signal to noise ratio on the mic j is supposedly better than on the stock boya stock mic and even the frequency range was rated a little bit better. So after seeing the specs and after watching this video from the guy online, yeah, and just in case you want to watch the microphone test that I, I saw online, uh, then just look here for, how is it called? Gadgets and gear and uh, type in a cheap lovely microphone test. And he did test the mic J and it sounded really, really good. So now you see this microphone has some inferior specs uh, when compared to the mic J. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just uh, compare these two. I'm just taking off this stock mic. I'm going to give you a sound sample of the stock mic. And then I'm going to give you a sound sample of the mic J. And then we see whether it makes a difference or not. So I'm very excited to check this out for you guys. And yeah, if you really want to know, um, right now I'm using like this really affordable 30 bucks uh, Audio Technica. Um, that's like not a wireless system and that I think has even worse specs than the wireless system and the wireless system has even worse specs than the JK so um, actually um, when I made these reviews I found that sometimes the Audio Technica if you use it for quite some time and the battery gets weak uh, I was not happy with the sound and usually you only realize that the sound is not um, the way you want it to in post-production. So that's really cumbersome if you depend on having the sound recorded. Um, because like this does not have a battery indicator, right? With the wireless system, at least I have a battery indicator. Plus I have some rechargeable um, batteries. So I always do recharge it before I use it. So it's always fully charged. I don't have a problem here. But of course I want to perfect the sound even more. And that's why I choose to check out this mic J. So maybe we can open this up a little bit carefully and see how it sounds. And actually the, the thing that I was most impressed with is the guy that I saw the test video on, he compared this with like a $100 Sennheiser. And the JK, for my subjective uh, impression that I saw on the video, um, even outperformed the Sennheiser, which I think was kind of crazy. And like from all I can see, I like the build quality, it looks really nice. And this thing is tiny. It's way tinier than the stock level here that came with my wireless system. Let's compare this. So you see how much bigger that, uh, how much bigger that stock microphone is? And compared to this one, this is way more inconspicuous. 
So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna attach this to the camera instead of the Audio Technica that I was always using. Uh, and uh, yeah, you see the Audio Technica. If there's something with the battery, you will not see this right here. So um, yeah, so I, I really wanna move on to like a little bit nicer solution. So let's test this real quick. So yeah, guys, now I removed this Audio Technica lavalier. And uh, yeah, I think most people, they will start out with something like that. Uh, and then at some point down the road, discover that, yeah, it improves the sound, but it has some limitations. So basically what I did, I switched over to this uh, uh, wireless system from Boya, and I'm just using the, like I told you, the included stock lavalier. And uh, the really interesting part is gonna come next because now you're still listening to the stock lavalier, but I'm gonna switch out the stock lavalier for the JK Mic J. And then that's gonna be the real interesting part. So let's do this right now. So now you're listening finally to the Mic J004. And uh, yeah, what do, you, what do you think? How does it sound? Um, I just switched out the old stock lavalier against this new, you want and uh, I also like the connector of the the mic J better than than this of the old lavalier and uh, basically on the transmitter and receiver I left all the settings yeah because like that's the thing um, the the mic J actually it really attaches properly and screws down uh, while the stock mic actually didn't fit as well which is kind of odd like the, and I think like I looked at the at the length of this connector and the mic chain had like a little bit longer connector and a bigger ring here to attach it so that's why this really fits extremely well it's that's kind of it's kind of like odd that the stock mic is doesn't work that well so uh maybe maybe well, let's do a short siblings test i kind of forgot that totally uh sister sally sells seashells by the shore Sister Sally sells seashells by the shore. And I love the shoreline and go going for a run there in the morning. Um, so guys, this kind of concludes the review of the Mic J004. And I think um, I haven't I haven't even listened listened to the to the sound yet, but I'm pretty convinced it's gonna sound better. So without that, so without further ado, this concludes my laugh mic uh, review. And I just want to quickly summarize a little bit what I did so far and give you a conclusion. First, I did the unboxing. And while I was filming the unboxing, I used like the, this Audio Technicar, very budget friendly, $30 entry level uh, mic that has like a cable connection. And I showed you it has the, we have to put in like this tiny battery like this right here. And I really found that kind of troublesome. I mean, I'm using the Audio Technica for a long, long time. But I found this kind of troublesome. I told you about that because I don't have a battery indicator. If I'm using, if I'm using it for a long time, the battery run my app might, the battery might get weak without me noticing. Then I showed you that I invested in like a Boya BYW M6 uh, wireless system, and that system it works really really nice because I can put in some Panasonic N Loop rechargeable batteries. I recharge it and every day I can start with a fresh charge so I never run into this battery issue and then finally after switching to the Boya mic I also replaced the Boya stock mic against the JK mic J and actually today's another day and I watched the footage and to my surprise there wasn't much of a difference still I like the mic J a little bit better because of the connector and the the way it's manufactured i think it's like a little bit more a little bit nicer but uh you know guys what i'm simply going to do is i'm gonna we'll look whether i can find some other ways of testing it maybe with a external recorder straight into the recorder cutting out this um wireless path that i showed you here in the, in, the, in the second sound test and yeah that concludes the video and of course, on my Create Success TV YouTube channel, I also started releasing some other cool videos like maybe this uh, condenser microphone video or maybe you want to have a separate video on the wireless system or maybe on an audio audio compressor right here. Um, so, ah yeah, and I also have video gear if you're in, into making videos for YouTube. Maybe that's kind of like the 
group of people that are interested in um, these uh, lavalier microphone systems, the people that are into this digital media stuff, and also really fancy this uh, smart door lock with RFID cards that I just installed recently. That's kind of that's kind of first. And if you want to learn why some people, maybe like Pat Flynn and so on, make like so much money every month online passively from their podcast or their YouTube channel and things like that. If you want to learn why that is and why only a few people are so successful while the majority misses the trend, then maybe check out my free online course um, where I give you some awesome case studies uh, that reveal some of the online business secrets. Can I say secrets? Well, for some people, it's a secret. For others, it's not. It really depends on your personal circumstance. So I see you as a subscriber and in my online course, have a great week. Hey, you are still here. What the heck is going on? Didn't you hit that subscribe button yet? No big deal. If you don't subscribe, somebody else will guess. Guess, guess what? Um, yeah, let me know what kind of content you want to see. Maybe I really want to fly the new 787-10. That would be kind of awesome. And maybe make a vlog about it on my next journey to Florida. Have a great week. Take care.